When you took your nitrox class, you learned that you must always calibrate an oxygen analyzer before using it. This is because oxygen analyzers are comparative instruments and not absolute instruments. A caliper is an example of an absolute instrument. When you use a caliper to measure an inch or a centimeter if you're on the metric system, the length of that inch measured by the caliper does not change. In fact, the caliper is not affected by temperature, pressure, elevation, humidity. On the other hand, an oxygen analyzer is affected by several environmental variables. As explained in our Introduction to Nitrox online class, at the heart of every oxygen analyzer, there is an oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor is a chemical device that measures the partial pressure of oxygen. And as such, it is affected by changes in atmospheric pressure. Additionally, the oxygen sensor is also affected by changes in temperature and humidity. Therefore, before you use an oxygen analyzer, it must be calibrated with a known reference gas used in the similar conditions as the gas you want to analyze. The most common and available reference gas is the air we breathe. The simplest calibration is to use ambient air. Let's go ahead and calibrate a nitrox buddy using ambient air. If you haven't been using your Nitrox Buddy for some time, we recommend that before you calibrate it, you let it acclimate for a minute or two. First, activate your Nitrox Buddy. Then, connect it with your smartphone. Then, go to the Nitrox Buddy sensor settings and tap on Monitor. While leaving the Nitrox Buddy standing by itself, Watch the sensor output value for several seconds and you will notice that it will tend to stabilize around a specific number. Once the value is stable, tap on Calibrate. Then tap on Single Point Calibration. Select Air and tap on Go. Again, while leaving the Nitrox Buddy standing by itself, tap on the Start Calibration button and relax watching the app calibrating your Nitrox Buddy. After a few seconds, the calibration should complete and the app will display the calibration completed screen. Additionally, the app will log the calibration in the logbook.